Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura. Welcome to my channel. Today is day 20 of Face Mask Tober. We are almost there. And we are going to be doing the Beauty Concepts Moisturizing Retinol Face Mask. Uh, it says it promotes smooth skin, which I need that right now. It revitalizes skin texture and appearance. I also need that right now. And it nourishes and moisturizes. I also need that right now. So let's hope this holds up to its claims because I could really use it. My face has been going through it. See, so it says our facial treatment masks are formulated for an at-home spa result. I'm pretty sure the other two have said the same thing. I've done, um, once again, this was in a pack of four from TJ Maxx. I've done two of them. We have this one and one more left. So this is the third one. Um, I'm pretty sure they've all said the same thing, but it says um, cleanse face and remove any makeup. Open mask and gently place on clean, dry skin. Wear a mask for 20 minutes and relax as your skin is nourished and revitalized. <laughs> remove mask, rinse skin clean, and enjoy youthful, radiant skin. So, please, please work. I can really use you right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and open this. Uh, like I said, my skin is already prepped and ready to go. I kind of like these ones because they don't come with a lot of stuff in them, so I don't have to like... Like if you watched the video for the one from yesterday, it was literally just dripping down in a stream onto my desk. And if you haven't watched yesterday's video, you should. And uh, you will know then too that I got a little cray cray with the self tanner on my hands. So... It's life. This is another one that they don't completely cut out the eye holes hate that, those little flaps hanging down. I'm going to turn it this way, now that we got it all tangled up. Okay, I think it should be good to put on the face. Alright, let's just put it on. Uh, I can already tell you it smells like soap bubbles. Like the kind that you, like with the little wand when you're a kid blowing bubbles, it smells like that kind of soap. I don't care for it. It's crooked. There. I mean, it's just the strangest thing. Why would you keep those on there? I don't understand. Somebody explain to me that if you know why they don't cut those out. I'd really like to know. Let me see if there's any more in here. Yeah, there's like nothing in there at all. Not coming out. We are going to go relax with this on for 20 minutes. I do not have my phone in here, so I cannot set the timer in front of you, but I swear it's the first thing I'll do when I get into my room. I'll set the timer and we'll be back in 20 minutes. All right, so we are back. I'm not going to lie, it's been over the 20 minutes, um, but it is time to take this off. And then it does say to uh, rinse your face off uh, after you remove the mask. So I'm going to go do that real quick and then we'll come back and we'll review it. Alright, so we've gotten that washed off. So the claims of this mask are that it promotes smooth skin, revitalizes skin texture and appearance, and nourishes and moisturizes. So I do feel moisturized, so I guess that could go along with being nourished. So hopefully it did something to my skin that will help out for the next couple days since it's been kind of hiatus for me. Um, revitalizing skin's texture and appearance. Let me just pull my mirror a little closer here so I can see better. Um, we're still kind of red. I don't feel like I'm as red as it was before. I'm obviously still going to have my texture. If you don't know, I do have quite a bit of texture along my cheeks and my chin because of um, acne scarring. See, promotes smooth skin. It definitely feels soft. I still have quite a bit of 
like I said, texture right here. It feels smooth where um, I don't have this going on. Like down here, it doesn't feel smooth just because I do have a little bit of uh, scars that are healing right now. Hopefully it won't become an issue where it stays like this. That's something that's just going to need a lot more than a face mask to fix. But I guess what I'm trying to say overall, I do think this was a good mask. I do feel like it moisturized my skin. It does feel really moisturized. It does feel smooth. I mean, it looks it looks good besides where I have my breakouts, but that's just not going to go away with a face mask. So none of these masks that I have, I don't think are going to get rid of what's going on on my chin area right now. But... That's just is what it is. So these are the ones that you can get in the four pack from TJ Maxx. So far I feel like I've liked all of them. They haven't all smelled the greatest and I don't like that they don't have the eye holes cut out of them. The charcoal one that I did last week, that one had the eye holes cut out so that was nice. But these uh, ones that are like just the white material don't seem to have the eye holes cut out. We'll see about the last one that we have. If that one does or not but yeah I like these ones so let me know if you have tried any of these ones out from TJ Maxx or if you're gonna go try to pick them up please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed yet please do so now it helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it and until tomorrow's next face mask tofu video I hope you're having a great day night weekend wherever you are whatever you're doing bye everybody